Hey guys, what's up? This is JRP77 from JG News, and I'm going to be starting a new tutorial series on texture painting. Now, this isn't really going to be a series, it's more going to be like a mini series because I'm only going to do three episodes. The first one is going to be focusing on painting colors, the second one is going to be focused on painting images, and the third one is going to be putting it all together to texture an object. Um, so I'll get those out. They'll kind of come in whenever they come in because I'm still learning the Blender 2.7. Um, texture system so I'll tell you guys when I get that down um, in this one we're just gonna do colors but listen to me rambling on about texture painting you might not even know what it is texture painting is a more complex way to add textures to an object rather than just going by a UV map and importing a image and putting it on there you can put different colors on there so I'm gonna show you guys today how to paint colors and different sort of objects onto there. It's a better alternative than editing the UV map with um, Photoshop or something like that, and it's actually built into Blender and it's free, so why not use it? Before we get started with this first tutorial, don't forget to check out our website. There will be an annotation up there, also a link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe because if you subscribe, you won't miss a, um, a tutorial in this series or any of my other series. And then finally, don't forget to check us out on social media Instagram, Twitter, Google, Instagram is at JG and underscore games, Twitter is at JG and games, and Google Plus is JG games without further ado let's get started all right so there's a few terms that you need to know the first one is texture painting I've already explained that and then the other one is UVs I kind of talked about UVs in that texturing um, um, episode of the game asset creation um, but I didn't really get into it that much I used an image off the internet and that's all I did. I didn't have to go in and paint stuff. And I'm going to show you guys the alternative to making a to making the textures in Photoshop and then importing them in and then putting them on the UV where you want them to. So there are a few advantages to texture painting. One of them is it allows you to seamlessly make um, transitions over edges. Um, so if I go ahead and I zoom in, you'll see that. Um, before we would have to know which square this was and which square this was on our UV map. But if we just but in Blender we can actually just paint a line across and Blender does that for us. We can draw X's and O's all over this. We can even put patterns all over this and as long as we're on the object it will find out which square it is. So that's kind of cool. The downside is it takes quite a while to learn and get used to. I'm even still learning. It's quite difficult, but you get used to it. So, for this, I'm going to be plugging in my pen and touch tablet by Wacom, but just because anything involving texturing and texture painting, I prefer to use something like this. So, if I can find my cord, I accidentally plugged in the wrong one. There we go. Alright. And you'll notice I just went off screen was because my cord just did something weird. Alright, so now just to test. Good. So, I've got my tablet. I'll set up how I like it and you can see that I can right click I'm actually um, using my mouse I'm just testing stuff out making sure it works I can move around by touching alright so now what we're gonna do is we're going to unwrap this so I just remembered that I don't have my keycaster on but there's only one key you need to know and that is U. so I'm gonna hit tab to enter edit mode now to make, give this a very very basic unwrap I'm going to hit A twice just so I make sure I select every vertice then U so the key U and then smart UV project you can use unwrap but smart UV project um, if you do unwrap it just does a bunch of squares and they're all overlapping and I can actually show you guys if I click up here and I go to UV editing and I hit U unwrap you'll see that it only makes one square so that anything you put in this will automatically go on all of these but we don't want that for texture painting because we want to be able to put different things on different sides so I'm gonna hit you again to override not hit light map pack I'm gonna hit you smart UV project you can keep all these the same and I'm gonna hit OK and you'll see it gives us like this three all the squares right here now I want to keep this like there but right now I'm just gonna hit new and then you see we got this. I'm just gonna leave it this. And I'm gonna call this um, texture one because I'm just gonna be using the same project each time. Um, the width and the height. Um, I'm just gonna keep it at that blank and hit OK. 
Alright, so now we've got this, and if I zoom out, you'll see that it's just a black image. If I go over to Material, you'll see, and I hit A, you'll see that it doesn't really change anything. Because this is just an image representing the UV map. So I'm going to go back into Solid View. And now let's jump into Texture Painting. So I'm going to go back into Object Mode. Actually, that doesn't matter. Go back into Texture Paint Mode. And you'll see it does this. Now, I'm not sure why it does this. I've never seen this happen before. Um, just hit Add Paint Slot, Diffuse Color, and set the color to uh, white. And then we can just call this Diffuse. I haven't done texture painting in a while, so I have done basic, but I've never done something like this. I'm going to hit OK, and that brings us to here. So now you'll see that we get several options. We have a few different brushes, smear, mask, fill. Um, all are pretty cool. And so I can go ahead and I can get like this blue color right here, like this really light blue, and I can start painting. Now you'll see that it kind of depends on how much, and I'm actually changing, I can, my pen and touch tablet te um, can tell sensitivity. So if I just hit Command Z a bunch, you'll see that a lot of them are in different, like this is my light touch and this is my hold touch, like that. So it detects sensitivity. Um, yeah. But now we need to show you guys how to do brush sizes because it would really stink if this was the only brush size you could do. Like in Photoshop, you can use the bracket keys to shrink and raise the size of your brush, or you can do what I do and hit Shift F, and then you get, um, actually correction, just F, and that will give you a really quick way to do brush size. So like, if I just if I was doing something and I was drawing something right here, I could go Shift F. I can make it really small, and I can do this. You can also pan around your scene, which is really cool. And now I'm just going to do it right. There, JGN Gomez. And so you can see like how it fades off, and that is solely because I have that pressure sensitivity on mine. So that's the um, that's painting, but you'll notice that. It's kind of annoying because I've got my, there's this another variable called intensity. Intensity, I don't know where it is on here, but I know you access it with shift F. So if I was on like 0.5, I'm going to drop it down to 1 and show you that effect. You'll see that it doesn't do anything. There it goes. So now you'll see it starts doing something. And now you'll see that pressure doesn't matter. It also matters by perspective. I don't know why it's glitching out on me. I'm just going to do that. There, it's back to normal. Um, I'm going to hit Shift F, and I can even make this really vague. Zero. And then I can't even paint at all. So you can do something really light, like this. And you could have like this really light thing. Or you could have a really, this really thick right there. So that's basically painting colors onto an object. It's not that hard. You can, I mean, changing colors isn't hard. I mean, I just changed to red right there. And I kind of have to change my viewport. I don't know why it's doing that. But now you can see that I'm actually drawing across three faces, and when I come down, it's distorted. That is because it's based on perspective. It's drawing from your perspective. So when I'm drawing a shape right here, which is actually pretty cool, because I could draw, I don't know, a triangle. Uh, why not? Draw the Illuminati symbol. I'm not affiliated with the Illuminati. I just wanted to be funny. And now you'll see... Uh, just, I didn't mean to draw that one. Now you'll see that if I go down, it changes this perspective completely. Which is really cool if you're trying to make like puzzle games and stuff like that based on a symbol. You could paint a bunch of lines in the middle and then say like different vertices. And then when they all lined up, they could look like this. So yeah guys, thanks for watching this tutorial. That was how to paint colors with Blender. Um, texture painting with colors. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, there, the next one will be with images and how to paint realist like images and such.
So like if you found a texture on the internet, how you could paint that on there. And then the final tutorial will be making something using texture painting. I think I'm going to do a knife or something simple like that. And it'll be fun. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to check out our last Blender Modifier tutorial on the Hook Modifier. There will be a link down there. Um, and then don't forget to check out our website. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. And then don't forget to follow us on all the social medias, Instagram, Twitter, and Google+. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.